and she is right there, comes directly up to the camera. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 deadliest ocean creatures. Right. Yep. There it goes! For this list, we're looking at the meanest, nastiest, and most dangerous denizens of the deep. We won't be including things like the pufferfish, which are only deadly when eaten. What horrors do you worry about down in the murky blue? Let us know what nightmare fish keeps you up at night in the comments. Number 20. The Portuguese Man o' War The Portuguese Man o' War may look like the most deflated straggler from a bunch of balloons, but it stings like a swarm of bees. Even when they're washed up and they appear dead, the stinging cells in their tentacles are still active. Normally, they float along the ocean surface, paralyzing any fish that happens to wander too close to their tentacles and dragging them into their mouths. Lucky for you, humans are usually too big to get tangled up and paralyzed. But that doesn't mean getting stung won't hurt. A lot. Stings from a man o' war's tentacles can leave long red welts. And in extreme cases, they can cause something like an allergic reaction that can close up your throat or send you into shock. All but the most severe stings are survivable, but they definitely do not sound fun. Number 19. The Stonefish You thought stepping on Lego was bad? This small breed of fish has an unusual look. It resembles a rock bed, which is pretty useful for warding off predators. Its warty, bumpy skin is nearly indistinguishable from the sand and coral surrounding it. Unfortunately, those who accidentally tread upon the stonefish will be greeted with sharp fins that can pierce through shoes. Right. Yep. There it goes! Good grief. And that would squirt into your foot? On top of the initial painful sting, victims also have to contend with a neurotoxin that can shut down their respiratory system and even cause their heart to fail. Yikes. Found in the Indo-Pacific area, the stonefish is a delicacy in some places. After cooking has destroyed the venom, that is. Number 18. The Flower Urchin Unlike the other toxic, hacky sack-like creatures in their family, flower urchins look less pointy and more squishy than their relatives. But they're not. Looks like you stepped on a fire urchin. Stepped on me. Stepped on me. Are you kidding? This guy was dancing on me. They're covered with spines and little round feelers on stalks that look just like, you guessed it, a bouquet of flowers. But do not smell them. When those little blooms sense a threat, they clamp shut and inject an incredibly painful toxin. They can even break off little pieces of themselves, which are basically the claws of what's known as the pedicillarii, to get stuck in your skin and keep pumping it into you for hours. There have been alleged reports of urchin encounters having fatal consequences, but fortunately, no cases have been definitely confirmed. Number 17. The Shortfin Mako Shark This is not a face you'd want to kiss. Not if you want to keep your lips in one piece, anyway. Mako sharks are known for their jagged grins and their unbelievable speed. Reaching speeds of over 60 miles per hour, they're basically living torpedoes. You'd think that would make them pretty dangerous, and you'd be right. Although, let's be honest, just about anything faster than a flounder can outswim most humans. Short fin makos have only been responsible for one confirmed fatality out of a total of nine reported attacks. This suggests they're probably not that interested in taking down humans. That's a beast. Look at those teeth. <laughs> In fact, many of those injuries historically happen when sport fishermen go after them. So it's pretty hard to blame the sharks. Number 16. The Blue Ringed Octopus Oh, look at that bright, bright color change. Gorgeous. Such a pleasant name for such a debilitating beast. In regards to killing power, the Blue Ringed Octopus's claim to fame is its infusion of the neurotoxin TTX, or tetrodotoxin, into its bites. But what makes them so toxic? Well, they're cool in that they don't make their own venom. They use other organisms, bacteria they find out here, and they hide them in their salivary glands. Humans in particular face the risk of TTX shutting down their respiratory system, which can mean death for those without immediate medical attention. Considering that one blue-ringed octopus contains enough TTX to kill up to 26 humans within minutes, and that TTX is thousands of times more potent than cyanide, the threat here is potent. 
Within only a fraction of a second, the octopus bites back, and the scorpionfish spits it out. The scorpionfish will have a sore mouth for days, if it even survives. Number 15, the orca, aka killer whale. Let's get one thing straight. There has only ever been one documented instance of a human being bitten by a wild orca, and no recorded fatalities. That being said, they're bigger than great white sharks, highly intelligent, and known to employ pack hunting tactics on prey, ranging from seals to larger whales. For sheer size, strength, and smarts, orcas rate among the most effective predators in history. We could see this really fascinating behavior of them spy hopping individually. They would just poke their heads up and come up, rise up, and just have a look around. They're even known to team up to use waves as ranged weapons to knock prey off of ice flows, which pretty much sounds like one step removed from an actual comic book superpower. And the wave crashed down, and that, and we just knew, you know, that was it. We just, like, the whole boat just went, Wah! We can tell orcas are not interested in eating us, because if they were, none of us would ever get back out of the ocean. Number 14, the sea lion. Some species of sea lion can weigh anywhere from 600 pounds to a full ton. The good news for humans is that sea lions mostly eat fish, so you're probably not on the menu. But that doesn't mean you can relax just yet. Sea lions can also get fiercely territorial. On rare occasions, that has resulted in them biting humans and even yanking them into the water. While that definitely sounds like a terrifying experience, sea lions are like orcas in that they don't seem that interested in attacking us. If they were, those huge teeth and a top swimming speed of 25 miles per hour would mean we'd hardly stand a chance. Gripped me on the head and squeezed and squeezed. And I was like, okay, that's a little bit hard. Number 13, the leopard seal. Leopard seals have been aggressive to humans on several notable occasions. And I swing the camera around, and all I have is the belly of a 13-foot female leopard seal. Normally, they eat krill, other seals, and the odd penguin. But there are several records of them chasing Antarctic explorers across the ice or even dragging them underwater. And she is right there, comes directly up to the camera. In 2003, one managed to drag down a snorkeling biologist who sadly did not survive. Luckily for most of us, leopard seals live in the waters off the coast of Antarctica. So unless you're one of the few people who travel there for research, you're never likely to run across one. Still, if you ever visit, be sure to stay away from the edges of the ice. They like to shoot up out of the water and surprise their prey there. Number 12, the moray eel. That's the biggest moray eel I ever saw. I wanted you for a supper. Found most often in oceanic or brackish water, moray eels typically avoid contact with humans whenever possible. When sufficiently threatened, though, these creatures ensure their aggressors get what's coming to them, and more. Not doing anything that would be a no-go, should like many others. One of them suddenly decided to get rid of me. Caught completely off guard, I had to make a run for it. Moray eel bites can produce easily infected wounds, on account of the eels having a large amount of bacteria in their mouths. And that's not getting into their ability to chase down and kill other fish with minimal effort. Small sharks have even fallen victim to their attacks. Whoever said the electric eel was the only threatening eel around? Sensing prey, the eel flushes it out into the open and delivers its death blow. 500 volts, enough to stun an adult human. Number 11, the Great Barracuda. Fast, vicious, and capable of incredible injury. That is a frightening combination. With some recorded as growing almost as long as seven feet, giant barracuda are also known for being quick swimmers and for being keen on brutal ambushes. Even in murky waters, they have great orientation skills and can find their way without any difficulty. This helps them considerably when finding their prey. They lie in wait before charging forth and biting down on their prey, armed with teeth sharp enough to damage nerves and blood vessels. Barracudas don't leave their prey much time to think. Their victims always need to be on guard. As if that wasn't enough, a number of barracuda have ciguateratoxin in their flesh, which can leave victims with nausea, hallucinations, and other side effects. Number 10, the needlefish. Needlefish present an unorthodox kind of danger. They're not big enough to eat humans, they're not poisonous, and they don't get mad at us for territorial reasons. Nope, 
They're just long, sharp-faced fish who are extremely curious about the lights in our boats at night. But if you're a person, uh, like the snorkeler, uh, in the water, then it's not so much those teeth, it's the whole snout that becomes the weapon. So curious that they'll shoot across the shallows at 37 miles per hour and leap out of the water to see what's going on above decks. For the people on deck, that means a sudden barrage of fishy spears that fly out of the deep like the first shots of a war with Atlantis. And it just sounded like bullets hitting the canoe. Injuries can range from bites and scratches to pointy wounds if the fish's beaks hit you hard enough. Number 9. Stingrays It may seem passive, but don't dare underestimate it. The stingray, typically relaxed, can hold its own and even do serious damage with its sharp spear-esque tail. Stiffening whenever the ray detects a threat, the tail possesses a serrated tip capable of severing arteries and is lined with venom that particularly endangers mammals. Imagine being stabbed by a large steak knife. Only this one's smeared with poison and it really shreds your flesh. The stingray's sheer deadliness was tragically shown when, in 2006, wildlife expert and television host Steve Irwin, also known as the Crocodile Hunter, was killed by a stingray's tail repeatedly striking him in the heart. Number 8. The Bull Shark This might be a list of deadly ocean creatures, but bull sharks are actually at their most dangerous when they're not in the ocean. Now, don't completely freak out. Sharks haven't figured out how to come on land… yet. But bull sharks do swim inland, up rivers, and into lakes. Like most sharks, bull sharks aren't all that interested in humans as prey, but they're big enough that a curious nibble will put you in the hospital. Thanks to that increased proximity, bull sharks have attacked more humans than any species other than great whites or tiger sharks. They've harmed over 100 people and taken the lives of about 25. Number 7. The Cone Snail Snails are soft, squishy, slow-mo creatures that eat leaves and carry their little houses on their backs. How the heck do they end up on a list of deadliest creatures? Well, these snails are here for the venomous harpoon-like tooth they use to hunt their prey. Yes, venomous harpoons. It's a cartoonishly evil-sounding weapon, sure, but it's also deadly serious. Geography cone snails, in particular, are the most venomous animal in the world, full stop. At least 30 people have had fatal interactions with cone snails. But the nature of being a dangerous animal that hides in a pretty shell on remote beaches means they could be responsible for even more fatalities we don't know about. When they inject their venoms, uh, they're not just injecting a few toxins that can kill people. Uh, they're injecting what turns out to be a very complicated cocktail. Number 6. The Tiger Shark The bull shark may be imposing, but the tiger shark is something else. You look at that whippy tail, that thing comes up, it's like you are flipping out, it looks like an alien, like a whack, whack, take your head off. This large shark has a reputation for attacking and eating anything, including smaller sharks, and is one of the sharks most frequently associated with fatal shark bites. Tiger sharks don't seek out humans as food, but they do tend to linger in shallow waters and river mouths where contact with humans is most likely. Seeing the sharks chow down giant chunks of fish was a quick reminder of the seriousness of those teeth. What's worse, their keen senses and calcified teeth allow them to make quick work of any prey they desire. Number 5. The Great White Shark the adjective great being in this animal's name is less a statement of positivity and more a grim tribute to its ferocity. So when I jump in there and float out 30, 40 yards, I'm going to look like an easy target for these sharks. The great white shark's most immediately recognizable quality is its size. They can grow to over 25 feet in length and weigh over 7,000 pounds. However, these sharks have another notable habit. They strike at their prey from below with their mouths wide open allowing their razor-sharp teeth to do as much damage as possible. The most impressive feature of the Great White is its biting power, which measures around 18,000 newtons. It's no wonder that about a fifth of attacks by Great White Sharks are reportedly fatal, given the viciousness on display. Number 4. Saltwater Crocodiles Highly secretive, powerful ambush predators that glide through murky water. Here is the saltwater crocodile. Fear the crocodile. 
before it strikes when you least expect it. As the name suggests, the saltwater crocodile can very easily traverse open waters, allowing them to spread across Southeast Asia with terrifying ease. If they can get into your bathtub, they'll get into it. You know, they'll, they'll just about go anywhere. Saltwater crocodiles have been reported to have a bite power 10 times greater than that of the great white shark. At the very least, its large size and weight make it frighteningly easy to trap its prey. Have a go at the size of it! What a whopper! He's immense! During a battle in World War II, hundreds of Japanese soldiers crossing through swampland in Myanmar were allegedly killed by saltwater crocodiles. This is our modern-day dinosaur, the ruler of this entire territory. This is my reason for being here. Stuff like this gives us pause. Number 3. The Oceanic Whitetip Shark As we've repeatedly stressed, sharks usually are not interested in eating people. But there's one time when the normal rules do not apply — a feeding frenzy. When there's blood and commotion in the water, certain species, like the especially aggressive oceanic whitetip, go into a swarm. And what causes more blood and commotion than a shipwreck? There have only been a handful of confirmed fatalities from whitetip shark attacks, but many shipwrecks and most castaways go unreported. If other wrecks played out like that of the USS Indianapolis in World War II, we may never know how many human lives the oceanic whitetip has taken. But in the Indianapolis wreck alone, the estimated count was somewhere between a dozen and 150. Number 2. The Box Jellyfish Doesn't look like much. Translucent blob of goo. But it can see, it can sense that you're there, and has some of the most toxic venom in the world. When it comes to the dangers of the sea, size matters not. Hence, we have the box jellyfish, a class of jellyfish that compensates for its small stature with a largely unparalleled sting. I suppose you're going to tell me the scariest animal is a shark. Try box jellyfish. Those subjected to the venomous touch of the box jellyfish's tentacles are said to undergo extreme pain and a burning feeling. Box jellyfish venom is reportedly so potent that some people experience fatal cardiac arrest within minutes of being stung. And this is what a deadly sea wasp looks like. It's one of the most venomous creatures in the ocean. Contact with its tentacles causes death within a short period of time unless there is medical help close by. The worst part is how hard it is to detect a box jellyfish before it can cause harm, due to its almost transparent appearance. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Sea Snake Sea snakes have also developed an internal physiology that allows them to move more efficiently through water. And here we thought ordinary snakes had enough deadly surprises to offer the world. Alas, the sea snake, though typically nonchalant when it comes to other animals, still poses a danger thanks to its venom. They use this venom to hunt, and fortunately, attacks on people are extremely rare. On the rare chance that a sea snake, or coral reef snake, chooses to inject its toxin while biting a perceived attacker, a sizable list of symptoms are in store for the target. The after-effects range from elements of nausea to general aching, and a tetanus-like ailment to even heart failure. It's a horrible fate delivered from an otherwise passive animal. As one group of hunters searches the reef, they're joined by the other. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.